Hey guys, Dave and Callie, and we just found the replacement for Maxine Waters. Okay guys, before we get started, I want to remind you to go ahead and hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Well, yes, we think we found a replacement for Maxine Waters. At least he's got my vote. His name is Joe Collins. He served in the U.S. Navy for 13 years, born and raised in California, lived in South Central, where he wants to represent his neighborhood. Unlike Maxine Waters, who lives in a different district and lets the district that she represents fall apart. Check it out. Watch this little clip. It's great. Hey, Maxine, it's Joe. I'm back. Remember me? I'm Joe Collins. I'm running for Congress in California's 43rd district against Maxine Waters. The problem is that this is where Maxine lives. And it's not even in her district. Fact check that, because it's true. Yet somehow Maxine seems to get elected term after term after term to California's 43rd district. Since she doesn't actually live in a district she was elected to represent, she's never there. So let's listen to what some of her constituents have to say. I voted for Maxine Waters, but I wanna know why she wants to represent us even though she's never lived in our district. Maxine, I wanna know why I lost my job. Maxine, why haven't you cleaned up the community? See, the thing is, people have questions. They want to know why, since Maxine Waters has taken office, the 43rd district has only gotten worse. But well, Maxine, nowhere to be found. I'm from this neighborhood. Maxine isn't. Coming home after serving 13 and a half years in the US Navy, I was shocked to find my community still in ruins. You would think that as a black leader in a minority majority district, your prime responsibility will be to improve our communities. But that's not the case with Maxine. Since she's been in office, things have only gotten worse here in South Central Los Angeles. But she wouldn't know. She's too busy in Washington, D.C. making deals with lobbyists to line her own pockets with money. The only thing that's gone up faster than Maxine's net worth is homelessness in our district. One out of every five people in District 43 are living below the poverty line. One out of every three children are being raised in poverty. We have poor quality jobs and poor quality education. And gangs have taken over our streets. Violent crime in South LA is off the charts. In the first two weeks of 2021, this area had 59 shooting victims, compared to only seven last year. But it's no surprise that violence has gone up in Maxine's district, considering she endorses violence. She's encouraged her constituents to harass and attack her political opponents. In a speech she gave in public, on camera, with no shame. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And she thinks that's okay. Isn't that considering inciting violence? Maxine policies is keeping our community down. It's keeping our people oppressed. South Los Angeles deserves better. Instead of adding fuel to the political fires of division in America like Maxine, I think it's time for us to come together. It's time for us to rebuild South Los Angeles. It's time to fix our homeless problem, revamp our education system, rebuild our infrastructure and slash taxes, bring high paying jobs to the district and end poverty, introduce financial literacy programs into our schools so our children can learn how to build generational wealth. The political establishment has failed our community on both sides. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat. We need to unite. We can rebuild our district, but we need people to represent us who come from our neighborhoods. Maxine is 82 years old. She's represented Los Angeles in Congress for over 47 years, and she hasn't done anything. She doesn't even live here, but I do. I'm Joe Collins, and I'm running against Maxine Waters. It's time for something different.